Good morning. It is the sixth day of a week on Farm Foods Frozen Foods. I said it right that time. Brilliant. Basil is meowing his head off. I am meowing my head off because I'm hungry. I've woken up very hungry this morning. Luckily, yes, luckily, I do have something actually breakfast defied, not a word, that I can eat for breakfast. So, yeah, let's go get it, Basil. Yes. Yes. It's a cruel world, isn't it? Hmm? It's a cruel world. This morning I'm going to use my remaining part baked baguette that I had to make my sub the other day. And I'm going to put in there some bloody bacon. Yeah, that's right. Bloody bacon. And this is a medallion, so it's got all the fat trimmed off of it, which means the tasty bit's gone. But it is healthier for you and hopefully has a little bit less salt than the uh, actual mountains of salt I've been having so far this week. Still don't have any ketchup, so that's going to suck a little bit, but it'll be good because you can't go wrong with bread and bacon. Baguettes in the oven and the bacon is on a tray also ready to go in there alongside. I, um, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate comments, people saying sacrilege, things like that. But bacon, I just prefer it in the oven, because it's nice and crispy. You don't have to watch it like a hawk, and uh, gives it a nice flavour. So, whatevs. It's what we enjoy. Leave me alone. Here it is. All done. That looks really nice. I'm hopefully not going to miss ketchup too much. Uh, brown sauce goes nowhere near our house, so uh, I can't even entertain the idea of putting that in there. And the only other thing we've got is, like, is mayonnaise and piri piri. I used to put mayonnaise in bacon sandwiches when I was a kid. Maybe I could do that. No, I'm not. I've got a little butter in there just to lubricate the sandwich. And uh, I, I really don't know how this could go wrong, he says. That hasn't gone wrong. That's really good. I'm only going to have half. Grace can have the other half. Mmm. A bit dry, could do some ketchup, but it's lovely. Just sit in here because I think a little cat wants a bit of fuss, don't you? So, just wanted to do a bit of summing up as to how I feel things are going right now. Miss fresh fruit and veg, yes, they have their frozen stuff, but I kind of I, th I thought I was going to end up having opportunities that he's lagged down now. Good boy. thought I was going to have um, an opportunity to have more veg, but I really want to show more ready meals and, and weird stuff than just having a frozen chicken breast and some veg. So that's the way things are. Like I'd rather have a mac and cheese pie and a mac and cheese pizza because they're funnier. And uh, I found some gems. There's also been some right howlers, so that's the way that is. What are you doing? What do you reckon, Baz? Hmm? He's not been that impressed with farm food so far, have you? No. More taking apart of old Lego sets today. Goodbye, Hobbit House, which was purchased off eBay. Ugh. Yeah. Deconstructing Lego is hungry work. And my lunch today is nothing short of absolutely terrifying. Curry and mm, chips. You see, it's cheaper if you put n mm, rather than A-N-D, because it saves you on the ink. Chips served with a takeaway-style medium curry sauce. I have a fondness for these microchips. I don't know if it's Stockholm Syndrome or the fact that I grew up on them. Yes, my parents were cruel like that. Oh, there's a picture of both sides. Look, you could, you could put it on the shelves like that. You could put them on the shelves like that. It doesn't really matter. What um, do we have to do here to, to get this thing nuked? We, um, we put it in the microwave for a, a amount of time, seven minutes. And what about the damage to my arteries? What are we gonna do here? 100 grams is uh, not, it's actually not too bad salt-wise, although when you consider there's 330 grams in there. Good Lord. Right. Let's see if I can open this one-handed. Oh, I'm getting good. No. All right. Doesn't it look good? <laughs> no. 
Right. Microwave. Seven minutes. Go. Curry and chips. Curry and chips. Does exactly what it says on the tin. It certainly is curry and chips. None of that and nonsense here. So yeah, I'm sure this is probably thermonuclear, but let's give it a try. Chips taste exactly like I would expect in that <laughs> I can't taste them at all. I can only taste the curry sauce, which, ooh, that's a burner, that one. Not massively, a medium curry sauce. But that curry sauce itself, I mean, it tastes like curry sauce, as you would hope. However, it's quite bitter, like it's almost like it's burnt. Yeah, that that's that's the dominant flavour there, over the spice and the sweetness. It's not unpleasant, <laughs> but it's. Oh, let me try. Let me. Yeah, let me try another little bit. Hmm. No, maybe it is. It's incredibly bitter. Ooh, yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to finish that. It's not like that's even funny in a bad way, it's just bitter. The flavour, I'm, I'm bitter actually. This is making me bitter. Yesterday was so good, now it's, now it's not. I mean, if, if I can, yeah, Grace's, Grace's bacon's still there. Oh, she just texted me, she's on the way. So that's gonna be gone, so now's my chance. But, where is it? That's, that's there instead. It's like one, it's like I've got a choice. What do I have? Do I have this? Or do I have this? I mean, I suppose I've got to. I've got to! Because I'm hungry. I'm hungry and I'm sad and mad. Fine. So we're out shopping for a toy for a child's birthday. Do that again. <laughs> This thing talks to the other toys. Creepy. Yellow. Yellow. How's the disassembly going? Okay, slowly. Slowly. This is the cookie mark now. So, watching some vlogs, doing some Lego assembly, disassembly. Basil has been screaming the house down, so he's having his dinner. So I think it's about time for mine. Dinner this evening is two extra large, sorry, extra extra large pork schnitzel and it says extra large there, it says XXL there make your mind up, 100% prime pork loin so nice old German schnitzel um, although it says classic Vienna recipe there, so is it Austrian? I don't know, leave it in the comments, where a schnitzel from? Let's, uh, let's the schnitzel fans argue amongst themselves so I'm looking forward to this, what's the damage actually? Um, pork is 70% so that's good this seems to have maybe a higher quality meat than the other stuff I've had over the course of the week but I'm not just having schnitzel of course I'm also having probably the fanciest potato farm foods offer Duchess potatoes piped crispy potatoes with a fluffy center made from fresh potato they're piped crispy potatoes with a fluffy center made from fresh potatoes I mean the, the use of Potatoes twice in one sentence just confused me there. Look at them. They're like tiny little swirls of spud How delightful. So yeah, these are gonna go in the oven as well I'm actually really looking forward to this grace picked up some ketchup on her travels today, so it's not farm foods however It'll do because I don't have any beans or anything to go with But I'm excited. Let's do it. Oh my god. Look at this when they said Extra large they weren't kidding it's as big as my head. It's as big as my head. Who's your mate? Looks like a face. It does. It looks like a side profile of a face. Hello, I'm Donald Trump. Oh God. Ha ha ha. Donald Trump the schnitzel. And it's orange as well. Marvellous. Just pissed off half my view of that base. Oh well. It's getting me hooked. Well here it is. Another orange plate of food. My XXL schnitzel. And a potato... I can't remember what they were called. Duchess potatoes. Duchess potatoes. There we go. Yeah, it smells good. Very orange. Let's give it a try. Let's try one of these potatoes first. You should have done some veggies with it. Oh no, but it didn't buy any. Mmm, they are lovely. Are they? 
Wow. Yeah, they are way better than the chips. Mm -hmm. You can see on the schnitzel as well where the juices have like seeped out. Yes. Juicy schnitzel. I should have had a knife. I'm a monster. That was hot. Mm. Is that not going to be really dry? A little bit. I'll have to put some ketchup with it. <laughs> really nice pork. Really nice bread in. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I wish I had some veggies with this. But that's my fault. That's fine. I take full responsibility. You done goofed. I don't goof. I put some ketchup with it. Like they do in Germany. We had a schnitz once. They just dump it on. Yeah. Ketchup, mayo, sorted. That's lovely. I love that. Now, excuse me. I'm going to be alone with my XXL schnitzel. Oh, right then. There we go. That was the sixth day of a week on farm foods. And, uh, sixth day, blimey, just that sinking in that it's been going on that long. <laughs> Maybe it's because today ended really well. So, I mean, my, my breakfast was a bacon sandwich, which can't be a bacon sandwich apart from a bacon sandwich with ketchup. So that was a couple of hours too late, but I still enjoyed it anyway. The bacon was nice, the medallions. Would have been nicer with a bit of fat on there. I, I mean, I'm just picking holes at this point, but it was really good. Unlike my lunch, which, um, yeah, I am as bitter as that curry sauce. That wasn't a great curry sauce. The chips were as they have been. The curry sauce was gross. Really no other ways to say it. But oh well, dinner was delicious. My fancy potato swirly things and my schnitzel, which was as big as my face. That was lovely. Yeah, really could do with some veg this week. But that is my fault. The free the freezer I really should have shown it was jam packed. Couldn't fit another thing in there whatsoever. So putting some veg in there would have really not worked. I would have had to have thrown something else away, um, and that just that wouldn't do. That wouldn't do at all. So I thought let's forego the veg. That's fine. We don't need any of that green stuff. Gross. And uh, yeah, here we are. I have scurvy now. It's been nice knowing you all. If you want to find out if I make it to the seventh and final day of a week on farm foods, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. If you want to see how it all goes down, you can uh, support the show on Patreon. And for $2, you can see all of my videos early. Now, isn't that some sort of treat? There is also this new YouTube thing where you can support the channel, subscribing that way. I'm looking into that. But if that's something that you'd be interested in as well, check check it all out. It's all good. It's all gravy. Thank God it's not all curry sauce because that's horrible. There is no redeeming that curry sauce. But it's the last day tomorrow. I am very excited to see the back of this because I want something fresh. I want something. I want something green. Yes, yes, it's my fault. Whatever. See you on day seven.